I became Chelsea's new manager to make them the world's best team. And in the last episode, I signed Victor Gyokuras for 62 million. And so far, he's our top goal scorer with 14 goals and one assist. We're also top four in the Premier League and we're in the Carabao Cup semi-finals. We also finished second in the Conference League, so we're having a brilliant season so far. But we do only have 49 million left for the next transfer window. And with us only having one transfer out of the three left to make, we have to buy a defender no matter what because that's our biggest weakness in the team. This is episode three, guys. Drop a like on this video, subscribe if you're new, and let's get to it. Now, guys, I've been thinking about something. Maybe we should try and fit Nicholas Jackson into the team with a two-man striker formation. I mean, in six games, he scored five goals. For a striker, that's a fantastic ratio, isn't it? Now, we could use the 4 one 2 one 2 wide formation. The only real difference is, guys, these two strikers up top as opposed to one. There's also the 4 triple 2 formation. We'd have to convert Sancho to a cam, but this could work. But then there's the 4 one 3 2 formation, which looks pretty decent to use as well. But one way or another, guys, come January, I want to get Jackson into the starting 11. However, that's not our number one priority in January because we've got bigger things to worry about. That being, our defence isn't good enough. More specifically, our centre-backs Carl Will and Fofana have let us down so many times this year and we need to sort that out in the January transfer window. But our budget is lacking guys, 49 million is all we've got. So we need to figure out out of all these players who we are going to sell to get the funds so that we can actually sort a centre-back out because if we want top four football and win the conference league this year, that's what we're going to have to do. But whilst we figure that out, we have got Ipswich, the last game before the January transfer window opens. So once we get Ipswich out the way, then our full attention can be going on to that problem. Here we come though with Jaden Sancho. Okay, I see that run from Palmer. Palmer is on his left foot. He's taking a shot from distance. Good save. Oh, here we come with Gyokuras. Okay, can we get him away from everybody else? We see that run from João Felix. He's got the ball in a bit of open area. Oh, that's a beautiful goal. Ipswich have literally hogged the ball for the better part of the first half, but finally we get a chance and we take it. Here come Ipswich though on the right side of the pitch. They've done really well to get into the box. Oh my day. I cut up freaking believe that they've literally ball hogged this entire game so far and the first chance they freaking get the take it that's annoyed me man i cannot freaking believe it it feels like i'm playing a scumbag on ultimate team it genuinely feels like that here come up switch down oh my god there's no way oh my freaking god what is our defense doing man i cannot Freaking wait till January. Ipswich are literally rock bottom and they're about to beat us 2-1, man. This is absolutely... Oh, my God. I haven't even got any words for how bad this is. Oh, my God. Chaplin's through. Oh, my days. Thank God for that Martinez with the save. This is embarrassing, man. Sancho does have a chance to get us some... Oh, my God. What a save. I can't freaking believe it. We have lost to Ipswich freaking town that is absolute bs man and after that game top broly brought me into his office and he said goodwin i wanted to let you know you won't see me for a bit as i'm going on a long overdue holiday i'll be keeping track of how the team is doing but just remember our agreement you've only got one more transfer left this year don't make any more than that please i replied saying yes boss that's crystal clear have a good holiday and i'll see you when you get back but thankfully, guys, the January transfer window is finally open. So now it's time to figure out who we're going to sell to increase our budget to the point we can bring in a good centre-back. Now, here's an idea. We could recall Raheem Sterling from his loan move to Arsenal and just get rid of him straight away. I mean, his market value is 21 million, so we get at least 25 for him. There's Badi Yashil, who, if I'm not mistaken, is actually going to be sold in the January transfer window in real life anyway. And so is Ben Chilwell, too. And you know what, guys? I think I'm going to sell Sanchez, too, because he's with. 17 mil, so we get at least 20 for him. I mean, we've got Petrovic out on loan right now, so all we'd have to do is bring him back because, let's be honest, him last year was absolutely phenomenal for Chelsea. Which means this is the transfer list, guys, and we can't forget about our youth academy players, Luca Board, Tomasi Ali, and also Henry Ali. I'm loaning them out straight away because that's one objective ticked off from Todd Bowley straight away. But we do already have an offer for Ben Chilwell, 18 and a half million from Manchester United. I don't think it's worth negotiating this. I reckon 18 and and a half million's decent. Harvey Vale's also had a 1.85 million offer. Yeah, I don't think I'm gonna sell him.
him. But look at this guy. Social media said a surprising move from Chelsea is stealing regarded as one of their strongest players on paper was told he was being put on sale. I don't know where they got that from. It wasn't long ago. He was on loan to freaking Arsenal. But guys, we've had another offer for Sanchez this time. 7.3 mil from Newcastle alongside Sean Langstaff. No chance for accepting this. We're going to negotiate. Our assistant reckons we can get upwards to 26 mil, but if I can get 22, I'll be happy with that. And we've got it. Lovely job, Yeti Al. Thank you very much. Good doing business with you. But whilst that's happening, we've got a game against Palace away from home. Let's see if we can bounce back with a win. And we do. Giocures, Giocures, and Jao Felix with the goals. It's always them two. But straight after that game, Ben Chilwell is officially leaving the club. That's another bit of money added to the kitty. I mean, we've now got 68 million to be exact. Once those other players are sold, I mean, we're definitely going to have enough money for a centre-back and maybe even enough to sign Jadon Sancho on a permanent deal. But guys, Nicholas Jackson has just come into my office saying, Goodwin, I've heard you selling some players to bring in a centre-back. I wanted to make it easier for you. Add me to the list. I replied saying, are you kidding me? Jackson, come on. I was just going to talk to you about how we're going to fit you into the starting team. He replied saying, boss, I've played six games all season and I've scored five and that still isn't good enough for you. And me playing six games isn't good enough for me either. As I know for a fact, there are teams out there that would love to sign me. So Goodwin, make it happen. I can't get over that man. He's now on the transfer list. I know I favour Giocares over him, but let's be honest, Giocares has been amazing since he's joined us. At least we know once we sold all these players, we'll defo have enough to bring in a new centre-back and probably enough to bring in Jadon Sancho too now. But you can't write this, guys. Raheem Steele is had an offer for 21.7 million from Arsenal. I mean, I'm not opposed to this. He can go back to them for all I care. And Paddy Shields had an offer from Dortmund just under 20 million. The problem is our assistant reckons we can get up as to 30 million, so we're going to negotiate this. I mean, I'm not after the full 30, but I'd like maybe 24.5 million. I reckon that's quite fair. Will they accept it though? Oh, what? They've actually walked out on that. Are you taking our assistant manager's done us dirty there? But next up, it's United in the Carabao Cup first leg semi finals. We're going to simulate the first game to see what. Oh, freaking Nora, man. I, uh, I feel like we've just completely blown our chances of winning that competition. But back to the transfers. Steel has had an offer from Fiorentina. 25.8 million. Absolutely, I'm accepting this. But it looks like he went to Arsenal in the end anyway. 22 million we got for him. That's still a decent amount of money. But now we've got 111 million to spend, guys. It's time to stop focusing on selling players and now start focusing on signing them now. And I saw a lot of people say Kanate is a great centre-back to go for. And I'm inclined to agree. 25, 83 overall, 34 and a half million market value. But he plays for Liverpool, so I don't think it's likely that he'd actually be up for joining us. He's also Alessandro Bastoni, 87 rated, only 25, but he is so expensive. I know he'd be worth it, but he is a lot of goddamn money. But guys, I have just thought of someone who would be perfect for Kayo Tomori. I want to bring for Kayo Tomori back to Chelsea. I mean, look at them stats. 84 pace, 85 defending, 81 physicality, and he'll only be between 56 and 44.8 million. We can more than afford him. So you better believe I'm going in for him. 49 million is a starting bid though to begin with. I really hope they don't walk out of this. Thank God for that. They want Enzo and 4.3 million. That's not going to happen, lad. Okay, it's clear that we're going to have to raise our price a bit. Let's go for 52 and a half million this time. Come on, play ball with me. Oh my days, they've actually gone for that. I thought we'd have to barter a little bit more, but 52 and a half million is all it took. And ladies and gentlemen, Fikayo Tamori has returned home to London. He's returned to Stamford Bridge. He's He's our third ever signing on FC 25 and what a signing he's going to be man. He is legitimately going to help us level up our defence so much. But guys, we've still got 55 million to spend. So I'm thinking we go for Jaden Sancho. I know his market value has increased since he's joined us because he's improved as a player, but I reckon if we throw a player into this deal, United will go for it. Hang on a minute, though. We can only terminate his loan. What the freaking hell is that about? Okay, I guess that we can terminate his loan and then go in for him afterwards, but that's still a pain in the backside, isn't it? Okay, his market value is 46.5 million, but our assistant manager reckons we can get him for less than that. So I'm going to go 45 million in the hopes that 
that they don't freaking walk out this time. Come on, Tenag, play ball. You don't even want him. Oh, there we go. First time's a charm. We may have overpaid, but we paid less than his market value, so I couldn't really give a rat's backside. I'm very aware Todd Bowley only wanted three signings, but this is a little secret we can keep between ourselves. Todd Bowley doesn't have to know about this. And there we go, guys. He will be wearing the number 16 shirt this time, but he is officially a Chelsea player. And look at the state of this team now, man. Colwell is our only real witness, but in season two, we can indeed sort this out, no problem. But do you know what's funny, guys? Jackson's been on the transfer list for a fair while now, and he's had no interest whatsoever. I thought clubs would be swooning in for him because he said any club would want him. But we need to move on from Jackson now. We've got a big game against the Bottle Jobs. Round three of the FA Cup. We may be down and out in the Carabao Cup, but the FA Cup is still alive and well. Here comes Jaden Sancho. We're looking for that run from Giocarez. Oh, my days. Giocarez is in behind. He's going to make this 1-0 already. Look at that from Giocarez. He's so good. If these three things certain in life, it's death, taxis, and Victor Giocarez banging a goal in when you give him a chance. Here come Tottenham Hotspur. Hyunmin Son is on the ball and for freaking hell say the first opportunity they get they put it away it's freaking deja vu from the last game we go a goal up and they get an equalizer almost straight away but here comes John Minson again good save Martinez Jaden Sancho is on the ball now we've just signed him for 45 million he's found Giocarez Giocarez good save Oh, well, your man son's in behind once again. Levi Colwell's in chase. I don't think he can catch him, for God's sake, man. I am slowly beginning to hate that absolute ass wipe on the ball right there. Your man son, you're doing my head in, kid. But here we come with Sancho. I see that run. Giocarez is on the end of it. He's definitely got it in him to put this away. Come on, Giocarez. Don't let me down. He never freaking does. What a well-taken goal that was. Victor Giocarez, you give him time, space, and a chance. He's going to take full advantage of all three of them. But here Tottenham Hotspur. Oh my god, I actually hate some with a freaking passion, man. I absolutely hate him. Jin Sancho is on the ball now, though. I'm going to see that run from Palmer. Oh my god, Palmer could freaking equalize this. Oh, frick off the Corio. No shot you saved that. Come on, man. Palmer on the corner. Come on, get this on your Oh, there's no freaking way. This is BS. I think this is it, man. I think Tottenham are going to knock us out of the FA Cup. I cannot freaking believe that is a sentence that's just come out of my mouth. Oh my god, it's actually happened, man. I feel sick. I can't believe I've just freaking lost to Spurs. But we do bounce back with a win against Bournemouth in the Prem. Palmer and Giocarez with the goals. Still disgusted in myself that I lost to Spurs, though. But look at this. Jackson's finally going off in. It's from Man City. 34.3 million. I mean, if he's not getting to start in 11 game time here, he definitely ain't going to get it over there. So I'm just going to accept it. In the meantime, though, we're against Wolves at home. We need two wins on the bounty. And we get it. Palmer and Gusto with the goals this time. And that win puts us comfortably inside the top four, guys. I mean, we're four points. Points clear in Manchester City, for goodness sake. We are 10 points behind Arsenal. I would like to close that gap, but we've got a long way to go before the end of the campaign, so there is a good chance of us doing that. But in other news, Jackson has finally gone to Man City. 34 million. I mean, good luck to him. If he really had issues with being the second striker at Chelsea, he's not going to stand a chance against Haaland. Speak of the devil, though, we're playing City next, and you know what? I'm not seeing him anywhere on the starting 11. Oh, there he is, being a second choice striker. Where the hell? did that tantrum get him honestly but the one thing we can't do is lose to City because then he's got bloody bragging rights over us oh that's a gorgeous ball though Giocarez is in behind Cucurella is with him but he's going to take this all on his own and he's going to put us 1-0 up look at that from Giocarez I swear he scored against every top six team in the Premier League at this point. What a freaking season he's having for his first season in the Prem. Jackson must be sitting on that bench wondering what the hell he was doing. The only good side to him joining Man City is he's probably making more money. That's it. Break up Manchester City. They're doing really well. Oh, that's a good save, Martinez. Got a chance for a counter-attack now. Jadon Sancho. Oh, look at that ball. Jadon Sancho to Giocarez. Giocarez could put us 2-0 up. Oh, what a save, Edison. Jack Grealish is on the ball though on the left hand side of the pitch he's taking Gusto out oh they've gone oh that's a great save from Martinez where it comes Ealing Holland he's found a way in behind he's just taken Tamori completely out what a save Martinez but look at this Giocarez is on the ball right now he does have options but I feel like oh actually no we're not Cole Palmer's gonna get a goal against his former club to kill the game dead 2-0 come on and that is the double over City secure and mental isn't it we can beat City twice in the season but we didn't manage to beat the 
bottle jobs. And the praise goes to Martinez after that win, and rightfully so, to be fair, guys. Whilst Giorgio and Palmer did score the goals, Martinez made so many good saves. And that win takes us to third in the Premier League, man. All we need now is a little bit of consistency, and there's a genuine shot we may finish second or maybe even get a title here. But that's not going to happen. We've just got annihilated by West Ham freaking United, for goodness sake. So we'll defo drop back to fourth in the league, and they'll go third now. And in the second leg against United, we just miss out on the final. I mean, I only simulated it because we were 2-0 down and it was a lost cause. But fair play to us, man. We put up a fight. But moving past that for a set, let's look at these stats. My Gyoka has 24 and 32, 19 and 30 for Felix, 21 and 34 for Palmer, 89 for Sancho as well. Our front four defo know how to score goals. And Martinez getting 13 clean sheets in 36 games. With none of those coming in the Premier League. That's pretty damn impressive. Impressive. But if I'm being honest, guys, I'm not fussed about the FA Cup or Carabao Cup. That means we can focus on the top four and the Conference League, which is what Todd Bowley wanted us to focus on to begin with. But we aren't doing well in the Prem lately, man. A two-all draw against Brighton, Palmer gained the Braves, missing a penalty as well. Come on, Chelsea, what are you playing at? But we bounce back against Villa, Giocares and Sancho with the goals. Get in, finally a win. But we draw against freaking Southampton of all teams next. Are you taking the mitt, Chelsea, right now? What is going on? We we're still fourth in the Premier League, but there's only three points between ourselves and Man City. We can ill afford any more slip-ups now. But we need to shift our attention to Europe because we're facing SK Rapid in the round of 16. I mean, if we go out here, that would be pretty much the end of our season, I think, because I'm pretty sure Todd Bowley had sat me. Now, I'm looking at that starting team, and I'll be completely real with you lot. I do not know a single player on that squad. I mean, look at their ratings, man. It's two and a half star. I swear to God, if we don't batter these guys i'm gonna be furious with the team we are indeed fielding our strongest possible squad for god's sake thank god for that it wasn't pretty but we do take a 2-1 lead going into the second leg and we pick up a win in the premier league 1-0 against leicester city gokurez again bailing us out what a freaking signing he's turned into but it's time for the conference league round of 16 second leg and i've rotated the team as you can see because most of the starting 11 are absolutely knackered dewsbury rolls on the ball here Kuka Okay, I see that. Victor Gokurez run. Can we get out on that? No, we can't. Madweke is on the ball. I'm looking for Gusto. We found him. Okay, can we get a dink into the box? Please, no. can we put this away? Good save. This has been such an uneventful game, and neither of us have been able to do anything. But then again, Gokurez is on the ball right now. Can we get a shot? Good save. Well, that's it. Full time. It's a goalless game in the second leg of the round of 16, but it is enough for us to go through to the quarters. And after that game, Todd Bowler came to me for a chat and he said well i've just returned from my holiday to see you get us through to the quarters good job on that i've got to be honest just smashing it this season good when you've done everything i've wanted you to do so far if you keep this up you'll be here for a long time no rest for the wicked though we are facing arsenal in the premier league once again a win here would be humongous i mean these guys are top of the league for god's sake but here they come on the right hand side of the pitch bakayo saka is indeed on the ball he's found have it on oh that's a good block but here comes bakayo saka has got a bit of room to run into. Martinez forced to make a save. Arsenal are all over us, man. We can't get a bit of breathing room. That is a goal to Arsenal 15 minutes in. That has been coming. We can't do anything against them. Whatever Mikel Arteta is doing with Arsenal, it is freaking working. This is the only time we've been in their off. Martinelli is in behind. Arsenal are absolutely killing us at the minute. Good save, Martinez. Still in nope. play. Martinez, thank God for that. Giocchi has to see that run. Oh, my days. That is a beautiful ball from Sancho. Giocchi is on the end of it. Oh, that's a great save, Ryan. Second half now, man. And we are dying to get back into this. But Arsenal are absolutely tearing us <laughs> apart. Look at that. What a save, Martinez. Arsenal are tearing us apart right now, man. Martinez can't do anything about that. Arsenal are top of the league. They deserve to be because we're nowhere near them right now. It's actually embarrassing how Ben White's just been able to score past us, man. That that should never be happening. I mean, Todd Bowley spent all these millions before I came here. What the freaking hell was he actually spending that money on? But here we come a Cole Palmer. Oh my days, we could get one back. No, come on. Oh, they're in behind again, man. Bakayo Saka is going to make this 3-0. Martinez is genuinely a good reason why this game hasn't been embarrassing for us right now. 
But here we come. Zhao Felix is on the ball. Tierney, I'm looking for that. Oh, that's a gorgeous ball. Gyokurev, mate. The oh, my days. Ryan, man, come off it. Oh, Bakayo Saka's through. And he's just dinked the keeper, man. This is just embarrassing at this point. That was a very humbling experience, man. I mean, top four is all we're going to get this year. If we're lucky, to be fair. Because if we play like that every game onwards, we're going to get backsides handed to us every single time. But by some miracle, we are still inside the top four. I don't know how we've managed to pull that one off, but you know what? I'm not complaining. We do only have one point over West Ham United, so we really cannot afford to make any more mistakes going forward. But our next game ain't going to be easy. Tottenham freaking Hotspur. The last time we played against them, if you remember, they knocked us out of the FA Cup. But as I've just told you, I can't let that happen. This is an absolute must-win game for the sake of our freaking season. Tottenham Hotspur got a chance here. Van de Ven has just put them 1-0 up man i absolutely honestly there's no team on this planet i despise more than the bottle jobs from london mickey van der ven look what is our defense doing there man tamori i signed you to sort us out and if anything we've just got worse since we freaking brought you back call palmer's on the ball now okay there's literally nobody with him where's yokires for good news? referee bro why are we literally playing like a sunday league team with a hangover this is pathetic but then again, we've got Gyokires through. Please, for God's sake, thank you. It's about freaking time as well. It only took a bit of individual excellence from Cole Palmer for us to wait the freaking hell up. Well, here comes Gyokires once again. Oh, he spun his man and then some. Oh, my days. We can get to... Oh, Vicario, you are not that good. Gyokires is on the ball. Okay, Gyokires can make something happen here. Let's take a nope. shot from that. Oh, it's a great save. Remember, this is a must-win game, guys, because fifth place are only one point freaking behind us. I say it is on the ball. Okay, I'm looking for that run to Gyokires. He made... Oh, Denied. frick off, Vicario. Oh, Palmer, I see that run from Gyokires. Can we get to that? I think we can... Oh, my God. God, that is the most gorgeous touch I've ever seen. Gyokura, oh my God. That is the most disgusting first touch that led up to a goal I have ever seen. I really hope it shows that replay. Look at that for a touch. Completely takes Spears defender out in that finish. Calm and clinical as you like. 2-1, up we go. Kaiseido, he's got a bit of room to run into himself. Okay, let's take a shot, Kaiseido. We've got a corner. Paul Palmer to take it. We are looking for the big man, but we're going to find Gusto instead. And he's put it away. Malo Gusto. Come on for Reese James because he was absolutely knackered, but he sealed the deal for freaking us. And that's it. Full time. They may have knocked us out of the FA Cup, but we've battered them at home where it counts the most. But guys, we do have to talk about a certain Reese James and what we're going to do with him, man. I love him as a Chelsea fan. I think he's a fantastic player, but the guy is literally never fit. I mean, Gusto's almost played as many games as Reese James in this point, and that is only because Reese James half the time is absolutely knackered, so I'm having to rotate him all the time. I'm not saying I want to sell this guy, but if he's never fit for the games we need him to be fit for, what's the freaking point? But back in the Prem, we dropped two points against Brentford. I am beyond sick of the this at this point next year we need to figure out why this is happening i mean we've dropped a fifth in the league now because of that freaking draw come on man what are we playing at but the quarters of the conference league have just been drawn with facing real batiste ladies and gents and honestly looking at the teams left if we beat real batiste there's only one team that's actually a threat to us and that's fiorentina aside from them this should be our competition to lose we are going to be fielding our strongest team against them but reese james this is what i'm talking about man he's knackered 63 fitness going into this game i mean he's almost done before the game's even started but that's a season two problem right now real batiste are our issue can we get past them three all palmer with their brace and gyokurez with the goal second leg it's all up for grabs can we beat real batiste and win the conference league guys well you're gonna have to tune into the season finale tomorrow to find out in the meantime if you have enjoyed this video please leave a like on it smash the subscribe button if you're new around and if you want to see where this all began, just click right here.